Now I just want to make a quick note about the installment loan formulas. Much like any of the interest formulas, uh, they can all look a little <clears throat> sorry, uh, different uh, depending on who you're learning this from. And sometimes the installment loan formulas are very specialized, meaning you can see a formula specifically for mortgages. Um, and so the one that we were using uh, in the videos was this one. Now this formula will work, because again, here is your loan amount. Now this will work for any loan, as long as it's an installment loan, any loan, any interest rate, any compounding period for however many years um, you want the loan to be. But you'll, you'll see in different textbooks formulas that for the same thing, but will look different. So here's an example of another one from a different textbook. So you can see in this formula, it it looks similar, you know, you get some of the letters match up, you got your M and you got P, um, but it looks very different. So, and you see some letters that you, like for example, this big capital N. Now big capital N equals your number of payments. Okay, so it equals your number of payments. But notice that they have this 12 floating around, you don't see a 12 up here. It's because they've already set it up so that it is a monthly payment. Okay, so this formula, it is the same formula as this one. This is just a little bit more generalized than this one. Um, in a different textbook, here's another formula. Now you can see in this formula, we still have similar um, letters. We still have our M and P, but then we have this I. And um, I actually changed it so that it has a capital N, but they still mean the same thing. So we have N equals, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me again, um, n is going to equal the number of payments. And then we have this letter i. Now i equals r over little n, or in this case, r over 12. Um, and the 12 is because it's a monthly, you're compounding monthly. Or in other words, you have a monthly payment. So we have three different formulas and even in some other textbooks is just the three textbooks I use um, you'll see these three formulas and they all look very different.